Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I want to just uh, share with you a really simple uh, idea that I had made and it's a cash envelope with a note card and, an, and a little uh, pocket insert to add your note card inside as well as um, a belly band. And I just used a single sided paper and I wanted to make this cash envelope for, it was actually for my a younger daughter uh, it's, her name is Tanisha and she turned 23 last month and she just moved into her new apartment and we wanted to give her some cash so I wanted to find a way to um, put the cash in an envelope as well as um, a spot to add a note card so it's like a note card and cash envelope in one and I just whipped this up really quickly when I um, when I made this to give to her and I was just trying to find a way to create measurements and I thought, oh, let me see what I can make. And I actually whipped this up the morning we were, um, well, we were heading over to my daughter's house for lunch. And I actually made this that morning and it was, I just made it really quickly. So as you can see, I didn't do any decorating, uh, it was not a lot of decorating. I just wanted to quickly make an envelope to fit the uh, cash that we wanted to fit in inside so i just thought i would share this with you and if you wanted to make one as well for a gift this would be a perfect size to um, store your cash in here to gift to somebody or you could use this uh, as an ephemera holder to store your ephemeras photos receipts uh, letters anything you like so it's a very uh, versatile and multi-purpose uh, envelope so there's uh, like two pockets in here so this is the belly band that i'd made it was just a way to hold the uh the envelope together but you could tie a string and uh, punch a little hole here on the edge and then wind uh, some string around it to hold it or you could leave it as it is so you can see it's nice and flat so it would also make a perfect flat mail as well and this is um also a great way to store a gift card and cash in one so over here is the pocket where I um, made and these are the little note cards that um, we gifted to Tanisha and these were the messages that I had um, messaged in one of them and then her dad wrote a message in the other uh, note card and um, so if you're like a family you could cut a few of these uh, cards out and then get everyone to write a message on the back and then you can um, add a brad on the top here so they're all stuck, um, kept together and then you can just pop them in here and all of the messages on the note cards are all stored in the pocket and then if everyone is contributing cash to gift to uh, the recipient this is where you would place the cash in here so it's just uh i think it's a great way uh to gift um somebody some cash and then the messages are on this side so it's a perfect size and so i just placed um a message up here because i was i pretty much had about i think 45 minutes if that to quickly whip one of these up so um, it turned out I was quite happy and it, it's a perfect width um, if you're in Australia uh, to put $100 cash notes in here. So I made it long enough so that you could put um, whatever the longest uh, note uh, cash that you have. So if you're um, from other parts um, other than Australia, it'll still fit um, your, note, uh, your notes in here. And the paper that I used uh, for this one is a um, a 12 by 12 paper pad by Paige Evans and it's called Wonders um, and I just had this in my stash for a little while and I haven't really used this paper pad and um, this print was just a perfect uh, print for Tanisha because she loves all that bohemian kind of patterns and bright colors so and she was really happy so I actually grabbed this uh, cash envelope off her after her birthday and said can I just take this back so I could do a tutorial for my video to share with my crafting friends in case I wanted to make one so I'll have to give this back to her but let's make one of these it's really really easy just a, a really easy paper fold project 
So what you're going to need um, to make this project is a piece of paper and you want to cut that at eight inches by 12 inches. If you have um, A4 paper or a letter size paper, you may be able to still make, make it with that size, but you may just have to make your adjustments to um, for your folding. Um, but this one is made with a 12 by 12 paper and I will put all the measurements down below for you as well so you've got that for reference so what we're going to do I'm just going to um, place the printed side facing down so it is a perfect uh, project for single-sided paper and on the 12 inch side we're going to score at four and a quarter inches all the way down so it's four and a quarter inches ten and three quarter of an inch and then we're going to turn this around to the eight inch side and then you're going to score at two and a half inches all the way down and six and a quarter inches and that's all the way down to the bottom as well We've got all the scoring done and then what we'll do here we are going to uh, remove this piece and this little piece here so this is the 12 inch side so let's go ahead and remove this little um, this rectangle piece out and this is the piece uh, which you will use for your note card to write your message So if you want to use a paper trimmer to get a, a more straight cut, you can just use your paper trimmer. I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, so that's your little uh, piece for the note card. And we'll go ahead and remove this little piece here. We don't need this piece. But you can keep this to make um, some embellishments if you like, or a little flag banner strip. But it's a, still a good size to use. And now we're going to go down to the bottom here and we will remove this little square piece here or little rectangle piece. We don't need that as well. So let's get rid of that. Sorry about all the little flashing um, light that you see coming through. I'm filming this early in the morning so the sun is just coming up beside where my window is and there's reflections from the um the house across the road has this um like a wind chime thing hanging and it's just reflecting the sun so it's coming through the window so I do apologize for that and now this piece here we're just going to cut up to that a score line straight up Just like that and we're just going to also just remove a little bit of each side just a tiny little slither of it and it's just so that when we fold the paper up it's not going to catch on the fold so just a tiny bit so I'm just going to remove those little pieces out without making too much damage so I'm just going to well it's actually quite I hope that's not disturbing you with all that flashing um, reflection uh, so there we have your paper so let's just create a couple of the folds so we can see where we're at with this so we can fold this one up and this will be the pocket for your note card and then we're going to fold this one up. This will be the pocket to hold your note cards. Oh, your cash, um, your cash. And then we're going to fold this. Actually, we'll fold that one in first. And then that goes on the top. And then this is your closure to close up your uh, cash. 
and then we'll bring this over so that's the reason why we made that little cut there so that um, it's easier to fold over so that is how it's going to look so what we'll do now we'll um, put some glue and we'll um, assemble it so I'm going to open this up and open that up I'm just going to grab uh, my corner rounder punch and this is uh, optional if you don't want to do that you don't have to I'm going to corner around this corner so that's that part done and then I'm going to corner around these two corners And then I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to corner around this one and I'll just close that over and corner around that one so there are all your pieces all corner rounded and then that one down there and all we're going to do now I'm just going to grab my bone folder to just down on all of these and all we do now we're just going to add some glue we're just going to bring this over and we're just going to add some glue just to this bottom part here so that's enough we can keep going a little bit more and that's going to close that up and that just is left open you can corner around that corner too if you like and then over here we're just going to glue just this little piece here and close that up and then this no card will fit in here now to, for this no card I had to trim it down a little bit so you just trim it down so that it will fit inside your little pocket I'm just going to trim that down a little bit. I'll trim it down to four inches. So it's four inches wide. And that will fit in there nicely. And just making sure that you just trim it so that it doesn't catch on to that fold. So that's going to fit in there nicely. And that will be your part for your message. And then there is your part for your cash envelope where you put your cash in here and then you just close that up and then you have yourself your cash envelope with note card insert and then to create your belly band if you wanted to make a belly band all I done was just cut a strip at uh, one and a quarter inches and you can make this as wide as you want it doesn't have to be the same width as my one you can make it one inch one and a half two inches wherever you like um, and then I just cut it down to nine inches so my one was a one and a quarter inch wide by nine inches and then you just wrap it around to however you wherever you wish to have your uh, belly band finishing so you can just just don't do a complete fold yet until you're happy with it otherwise you'll have all of these fold marks on your belly band so you can just do it like that and then place a die card or a paper flower or uh, anything you would like to um, just to cover that part here and then all I done was I just placed a foam square dot to hold it in place um, if they want to open it that way or just slide it out so I'll just place mine in that way and that's it and I just think this is a clever little uh, gift ID or as a flat mail or for your ephemera pieces or anything you would like so I hope you enjoyed this easy paper fold tutorial to make your own cash envelope with a note card insert and belly band and I'll see you all soon bye for now